Yes, 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 finally. What is going on, everyone? So welcome to another episode here at FK Irons. And today, after so many attempts to record this live, actually to broadcast this live, this is now recorded, um, I managed to uh, get this program working. So without any further ado, today we're going to be talking about 2019 and FK Irons. And 2019 has to be one of the most exciting years at FK Irons. And there are a lot of reasons why that I'm going to be talking uh, in this video today. So first, let me make sure that I'm streaming live. Seems like we're connected. Just, there you go. So why do I say that uh, 2019 is going to be one of the best year? Well, number one, we have a couple of new product releases, uh, probably one of the biggest product releases happening in 2019. We have uh, Dark Lab su uh, Supply fully launched. We launched it on Black Friday. So Dark Lab Supply, you can get all the supplies. Uh, you can also get all the FK Iron machines. And now we are carrying uh, Cheyenne products, including Cheyenne machines. And we're going to plan to continue carrying a Dark Lab, uh, the most prestigious brands. And uh, you know we want to provide you guys, the artists, with the best tools and the best prices possible. So Dark Glass Supply brings a lot of uh, innovation to the industry uh, in the sense that we're gonna have an app. So you're gonna be able to order uh, through an app that's gonna expedite the process of ordering a lot faster. You're gonna be able to actually subscribe to certain products and without having to go on the website to actually order the products. For example, gloves, one of the products that we used uh, the most, you know, you can subscribe every month, you know, Dark Lab send me a case of gloves and automatically that's going to happen. So uh, we're trying to maximize your time at the studio and minimize your time in front of the computer ordering uh, supplies. What is going on, Jorge Brito? Can't wait for 2019. Yeah, uh, we can't wait either. We've been working also for the past two and a half years in the Dark Lab electronic division. As you guys may have seen already, we're working on a few power supply. Uh, the Hover is the first power supply that is going to make its debut on in 2019. Uh, just so you guys know, I mean, if you haven't seen anything yet, uh, we haven't actually shown so much, but we have leaked some images purposely just to illustrate what we're working on. So the Hover is going to be a power supply that has no buttons. It's going to allow you to control your power uh, of your machine wirelessly through air gestures. So um, it works with, uh, you know, bagging, wrapping, uh, the device, but no longer you need to actually touch with your fingers, your bloody fingers, your fingers full of ink, the actual device. So with simple, uh, simple gesture, you can actually increase and decrease the, uh, the speed of the machine, the voltage, you're going to have uh, rotary readouts. You're going to have uh, coil readouts and also you're going to have USB and USB-C so you're going to be able to charge your phone uh, your tablet if you have a reference going on but also this acts as a hub to charge the next product I'm going to be talking in a little bit the lightning bolt pack for the science so the sign is uh, making its uh, its wireless debut through this pack so the hover is going to be kind of like the hub that's going to allow you to connect your machines that are not wireless uh, through this device, you're also going to be able to charge the uh, lightning bolt packs and uh, you're also going to be able to charge your phone. It also has Bluetooth connectivity, so you're going to be able to uh, connect through the app that's going to be on the Apple Store and the Google Play Store. You're going to be able to connect to, the, uh, to this app uh, and the app is going to have a lot of information such as, for example, technical uh, specs for a machine, troubleshooting, uh, videos. Uh, it's going to have a lot of how-to uh, parameters and a bunch of stuff. Also, the app is going to give you a lot of stats about the performance of your machine. And, uh, you know, it's going to be a work in progress uh, project because the app is actually uh, being worked uh, as we speak right uh, right now. We're, gonna st uh, we're actually starting working on the app. Regardless, the power supply is going to work um, autonomously. So you're, you don't have to have the app to use the power supply. So what else the power supply has? It also has a timer. So it's going to allow you to track the machine runtime and the session time simultaneously at the same time. So you can see um, the, the, uh, the amount that your machine was on and off and also the amount that you started the session, meaning uh, you started prepping for the tattoo. So you hit start, it starts recording that session. And every time you uh, press the foot switch, you have a secondary 
binary readout that just records that. So you can track the time that you took, you know, from the moment you uh, sat down at the studio uh, till the moment you built a client, the client left. Uh, you're going to be able to track those two uh, parameters separately, uh, but at the same time, simultaneously in one screen. Um, the user interface is really, really good. Actually, we went through so many uh, different uh, architectures and, and, and ways of navigating, but at a glance, you know, you navigate the voltage by going either right or left. So swipe right or left, you know, just to increase uh, the power of the power supply. And then up and down, you navigate the rest of the menu. It has a round robin, a revolving navigation. So uh, it's very easy to find what you need. Uh, there are not a lot of options. Uh, in the sense that you don't have to dig through a lot of menus, but there are, are a lot of options in terms of what the power supply has to offer. So kind of like an oxymoron, not a lot of options, but a lot of options. Um, what I mean by this is that we made uh, the uh, usability of the power supply really, really simple, straightforward. When I go up, just go up. When I go down, you go down. When I stop, just wave on the power supply and you turn on and off the power supply. Now, the good thing about the app is that you're gonna be able to have uh, your power supply current at all times. And we're going to continuously develop more feature for this power supply. So uh, anytime we have a new feature for the power supply, you're going to get a notification on the actual device on the, on the hover telling you there is a new firm, uh, firm, uh, firmware upgrade for the, the power supply. And you know, those are going to be new features that you're going to be able to get in the unit for free. So there are a lot of crazy things that we're experimenting with this power supply. And to be honest with you, um, I haven't thought about a power supply the way we thought about power supply until we sat down with our electronic engineers, myself and the team, and actually came up with some crazy rat things for the power supply. So 2019, we're aiming for first quarter of 2019 for the hover. Again, the time is um, related to how happy we are with the progress we're making. I mean, uh, software and hardware is almost there. So now, and even the design of the, the, the chassis of the power supply is finalized. So now we're doing a lot of testing. Uh, Javi Antunes from Tattoo Theory is one of the artists that is, has actually been working uh, since the beginning in this project. And he's, uh, he's one of the artists that, um, you know, is ha had a lot of input in the way this power supply is going to work. But also we're gonna, start sending very soon 2019 a lot of prototypes because we're not going to send power supplies without prototypes you know collecting hours and stuff like that you guys know the the fk iron ways people say that we take too long but we do it for a reason so uh that is the hover now i mentioned before we're going to have the cyan lightning bolt pack now the cyan lightning bolt pack is going to be uh basically a battery uh pack that's going to plug in the cyan so i have a cyan right here so basically the uh the the pack plugs in the back just like you would plug a foot switch, but it actually rides under the machine rather than making the machine very, very long. Now, the uh, performance test that we have done uh, using the machine at around nine and a half volts, which is kind of like a medium term, nine volts, can give you up to six to seven hours of runtime. Now, the runtime is going to uh, depend on how hard you use the machine, how high you use the machine, and also it's gonna depend on the stroke. Uh, the longer the stroke, uh, the more amps you're gonna draw from this battery that it has, uh, the pack that has um, that the pack has built in. So, uh, fairly, it's gonna give you almost a full session of tattoo, if not maybe two sessions, depending you know how long you tattoo in a day. Now, the good feature about uh, uh, the Lightning Bolt pack is that you're gonna be able to control the Lightning Bolt pack wirelessly with a hover. So remember, the hover is gonna be charging the other unit. Uh, in the event that you have two units, it's gonna be charging one of the units. And then you're going to be able to control the, uh, the lightning bolt pack um, wirelessly with the, uh, with the hover. So you're going to be able to actually control the machine going up or down the speed. And actually, you can have a lot of machines, multiple machines you can have uh, controlled by one power supply wirelessly. Okay. Now, Don, uh, a lot of people ask me, uh, so we're not going to be able to use the, the lightning bolt pack uh, with the buttons. Okay, so we have actually a very simple menu that's going to allow you to crank up and down the, the power of the lightning bolt. But um, if you want the full features, if you want the readouts, if you want uh, to know how the machine is performing, uh, you're going to be able to do it with uh, with the hover by tethering to the, uh, to the hover. So 
The Lightning Bolt Pack also has Bluetooth, and this is the reason why why this seamless connection can happen. So once you pair the uh, the pack with a hover, then you're good to go, and you can actually control, see the readouts, see the speeds, see the amps, and see all that stuff, uh, the good stuff that you nerds love about machines. So that's the Lightning Bolt Pack right there. Now we have we have been working. I have been twinkering with. Uh, potential new machines. Uh, there's a lot of work in progress, a lot of projects that have been hanging out uh, in the limbo and left aside, a lot of projects that are halfway there. So 2019, I'm, I'm refocusing to actually uh, bring to you guys uh, new machines and new product. And there is, um, there is uh, a, a very exciting news that probably going to reveal around January, February of 2019. So in terms of machine, the Cyan, uh, still one of the most popular machines in the tattoo industry, uh, industry period. Uh, we sold near 30,000 Cyans, and uh, thanks to you guys for the support. And what do we do when we sell a lot of machines? Well, we invest in more uh, development of newer technologies and newer devices and better ways of making uh, your, your life a lot easier and more fun. So expect a lot coming uh, machine related from FK Irons. And uh, we cannot wait to unveil some of the news that we have further down in 2019. So that's what it goes for a tattoo machine. Uh, probably we're going to move again in 2019. This will be one, well, actually, if we count, since we actually moved to uh, the very first uh, office, which was my garage, um, I don't know, like 10 times. So we're moving again probably to 60,000 square feet. Uh, right now, the way the FK Iron works, and if you guys have seen the, the, the factory, the plant, we have a CNC manufacturer, we have the headquarters where Dark Glass Supply is at, and then we have our uh, design marketing department team in another building. So we're split in three buildings. So by 2019, we are hope, oh, and electronic is also at the uh, uh, manufacturing plant. So by 2019, we're planning to probably move for the last time, move to 60,000 square feet where we can accommodate uh, the entire operation under one roof and that is going to expedite things because even being like next to a shop next to another shop or a block away and stuff like that you know when you consider that the daily commute from the uh, department to department it actually is a lot of time wasted and we want to maximize our time and we want to improve uh, uh, the releases the timeline uh, for creation of our products so cuckoo wick says esa fuente será lo máximo that that power supply will be uh the maximum so thank you everyone that's actually watching this video let me know where you guys are watching from i know that a lot of artists from all around the world watch this video so make sure to drop your comments down below and let me know where you're from um if you have any questions we're probably gonna do a q a at the end of the video if you guys have a lot of questions or any questions um what else now Talking about Microview International, I know that some of you have asked, is that part of FK Irons? Uh, what is Microview International? All right, so at a glance, Microview International is our uh, cosmetic venture. As you guys know, my wife is a permanent makeup artist, and with her, we've been developing a lot of products for the uh, permanent makeup industry. Uh, she's actually one of the artists that helped me uh, get this started. And now Microview International is our sister company. Um, everything happens in the same uh, plan, and we're, uh, creating new devices. As a matter of fact, I have one to show you guys. If you're not too familiar with it, probably you saw in some videos, this is the new device that we're releasing in 2019. It's called the Spectra. Uh, no, the Spectra. This is not the Spectra. I'm sorry. This is called the, uh, the Microview Bellar, and it's this tiny machine. This is a permanent makeup machine uh, that weights almost nothing. It has a super powerful motor. The motor is almost as equal as the motor of the Scion, and you can actually see the difference in size and weight, check it out. It's very, very tiny. Kind of like a, it looks like, like a fountain pen or something like that. So this little machine right here has been under development for uh, development for almost a year. Uh, actually, this was one of the first machine that I was going to release, but we decided to release the Spectra Cyan S, which is probably today one of the most popular machines in the permanent makeup industry. And it's the only machine that has give adjustability feature and the only machine that has stroke adjustment in the permanent makeup industry. Um, so um, this is actually machine number two. This machine is now replacing this machine because this machine 
it's what it is. It's SpectraSign. Uh, this is the S version that features uh, features smaller uh, smaller grip. It's a little bit lighter. Uh, features a different spring in the inside and two different stroke. This one comes with a 1.8 and 2.5 millimeter stroke. Now this one right here that I have in my hand is going to feature uh, a shorter stroke around the the two uh, two millimeter neighborhood. And uh, it's a machine that we uh, started taking pre-orders. We actually did a pre-release and uh, a couple of months ago in North Carolina at the Charlotte show, and we saw all the machines within hours. I mean, a couple of hours, to be honest with you. So a lot of hype about this machine. If you are a cosmetic artist, uh, this machine is actually gonna address some of the needs that you guys, permanent makeup artists, have. It's gonna have a disposable number one. It's gonna have a disposable grip. You're gonna be able to remove and this one doesn't have any adjustability. It's a machine that is fixed uh, with a fixed stroke. Uh, and it features this tiny new connector that we are using on our permanent makeup machines. And I think the problem, if it works really good in this machine, we're going to try to swap it to our, uh, to our rotary machines because it's really, really good. It's actually a connector meant for DC current. Um, it's very, very tiny. So this machine makes uh, its debut in January 2019. Um, more news about this, you can actually check us out on microview.com, the website, and find out about all the information. Now, I remember that I mentioned one word, disposable grips. Now, Dark Lab is bringing a lot of new products. So we have the new disposable grips for the Cyan, and they're going to come in three sizes. Again, it's made, um, the, the grips are going to make its debut also in January. So we're going to have the original, which is just like this one. They're going to be all black. And then we're going to have uh, the Gorilla. Now, the Gorilla, as you guys have seen, is a very chunky grip. Um, it's going to refrain you from actually having to overwrap the machine over and over. And also, we have a version that is going to be great for, these, uh, for this machine right here and also for the uh, Cyan S. It's the, uh, the Cyan Slim Grip. So that grip is actually a bit thinner than the one you see right here on the picture. So... Three grips for the Zion, and we're pretty excited because a lot of you folks actually want to get uh, this machine. So I'm going to spend a little bit on the chat right now, see who's there, see all the people that are joining us. Wow, we have people from everywhere. Let me see. So um, we got Select Tattoo from Texas. We have Saskatchewan from Canada. Well, I know, G Duff from Sa Saskatchewan, Canada. We got Mark from El Salvador. We got Cuckoo Wick from Venezuela and Argentina. We have Travis Howie from Michigan. Then we have Jorge Brito from California. Kwan Ink Flows from Cebu, Philippines. What's going on, Philippines, in there? We have Igor Singh from Russia. We have Joy from Maryland. Mago Vasquez from Costa Rica. Melo Rosas is asking a question that I'm going to answer in a little bit. Uh, we got people from Wisconsin, North Carolina, Mexico. We have people from everywhere joining us, guys. So thank you for tuning in. Now, Melo Rosa has a question that I'm about to address right now. And it's, when are you guys releasing the, the Vertex cartridges? Let me see if I have some cartridges right here. No, actually, I didn't bring. I should have brought them. But Vertex cartridges are actually going to make its debut also um, in January. We were going to make him happen in December. They got stuck in customs and dealing with customs is not a fun thing to do, especially when it's a huge container uh, full of uh, puncturing uh, little needles, right? They want to know what that is. So that took actually a little bit lesson learned about importing needles to the United States, but everything is under control. So needles are going to be here. Actually, they're here in the United States already. Uh, they're going to be in our office by, uh, by January as well. So we're going to have, let me tell you a little bit about Vertex, what makes the needle a little bit different than any other needle. Number one, it's actually a needle that um, is going to suit any tattoo machine that takes the Shein cartridge. It is also a machine that is uh, a machine. It's also a needle that has been licensed by Shein. So uh, we're actually paying royalties to Shein, which is the great thing to do when someone invents something and you don't just take idea. You actually work with those people if you really like the idea. So um, we're, um, it's gonna fit, all, almost spell it. It's gonna fit all the Shein uh, machines and uh, compatible. That's what I mean. It's going to um, fit on the sign. It's going to fit on the uh, 
on micropigmentation devices such as the Spectroscyan S and including the Bellart. Now, we're gonna have two lines. We're gonna have a line called, that we call the, ta the traditional tattooing for, uh, cartridge, and then we have the other one that's gonna be more for permanent makeup uh, usage or you know detail work. So, the, um, the Vertex, right? We're gonna have every single configuration out there plus a couple of configurations that I came up with uh, that I doubt exist out there. Uh, but the beginning, we're gonna launch with, you know, the average uh, configurations. You know, we're gonna have from a single needle up to an 18 round liner uh, and shader. Then we're gonna have our magnums. We're gonna have our curve magnums. The way that we designed the curve of the magnum also is pretty, I think, what I consider, in my opinion, like the right amount of curve. Also, the way the stacks are actually separated is also like the, um, the right amount of distance uh, that I consider, in my opinion, what I like, you know, when I tattoo. Um, but also, is the first needle that's ca that has two vent holes and it has it on the slide. Now, you may ask yourself, I mean, so, so what's so innovative about two holes? Well, number one, one of the things that I discovered um, tattooing is that Cartridges that have one hole, they tend to create a lot of pressure in the cartridge. It's the only uh, ventilation that the cartridge has to actually uh, exhaust air or, uh, yeah, actually air because the membrane creates like a pump. So imagine pumping something with a membrane and only having one way to escape. Yes, you have a tip, but the tip uh, is very, very tiny, so it's not doing anything. And some cartridges have a big opening right there. So whether the opening is big or whether the opening is small, it is at the top of the machine, and when we are tattooing, we grab the machine this way, and we do this. Now, when we do this, the only way the, 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 the ink can spray is upwards, because the hole is located at the top, and it's the only orifice for any compression to exhaust. So, we reroute the holes to the side, and we have two. Now, not only uh, we are avoiding that uh, spraying up or minimizing it, uh, but also we're redirecting it to the side and decompressing the cartridge with every actuation. So a lot of research and development went on making this cartridge a little bit better or a lot better than most cartridges out there because of, because of that. So we consider that working and, and breathing and just working in clo uh, close proximity uh, with our customers is something that we had to uh, take, a, take a look at. And... Uh, I think we have came up with something that deliver uh, a solution to what I consider a problem with most cartridges. Now, the membrane of the Vertex, the membrane that's a lot softer than most cartridges out there um, because cartridges that have a tough membrane, therefore, uh, make the motor of the machine work a lot harder. So this, this uh, cartridge, we tested a lot of membranes and we actually... Uh, Installed in this cartridge is the membrane that we consider is the perfect balance between tension and uh, performance of your machine. Um, if the membrane is too hard, your machine is going to overwork. Your machine is going to heat up. Your machine is going to warm up. When the membrane, if the membrane is too loose, well, then the needle is going to flop everywhere. So uh, we picked the right amount of tension to actually deliver uh, a good stable performance of your needle. Now. What else about Vertex? Now, we have some uh, configurations, what I mentioned before, the Nano. Those are gonna be, uh, number one, the, the, the metal that we use, uh, the steel that we use uh, for those needle is a super premium uh, medical grade steel that is flexible, that, uh, that stays way sharper than um, other needles, traditional needles. And the reason why we have to do that is because of the diameter. Those needles are gonna be 0 0.20, 0 0.25, and 0.25. 33 millimeters in diameter. Now, 0.20 is actually thinner than a hair, if you think about it, or almost like a hair. So we have to come up with a needle that was much more flexible and much more durable, and a metal that is a little more premium. Also, the tips of this um, line of vertices is completely different. The tip is actually very, very thin and elongated, giving the artist more visibility. So that's why we think that these needles are gonna be great for permanent makeup artists because it's gonna give them more visibility of the actual needle. And because a lot of them work with single needles or very tiny configurations like the three and the five magnums and very tiny configurations. So uh, we also have a new configuration, probably uh, not too popular in tattooing, but we have the three 
uh, curve single stack magnum 0.25 millimeters in diameter. So it's super, super, super thin, super, super tiny in its curve and it has a super elongated uh, tip that gives you a lot of visibility. Now, we also have the 5 and we're planning to release more versions of that configuration. So, uh, we have a lot of future for a lot of future plan for Vertex Needle. So, January makes its debut and we hope you guys like it. So the price is going to be priced right. It's not going to be astronomically uh, expensive uh, and it's not going to be astronomically cheap that you will refuse to buy this new because they're so cheap. I think our, our, um, our average configuration is about uh, 20 something dollars and they're going to come in box of uh, 20 needles. Don't quote me because yeah, I think it's the 20 something like that. But we're going to post the prices uh, very late right here. It's almost 12.35 a.m. Um, but again, yeah, pricing was something that we wanted to keep uh, under control because uh, we wanted to provide you guys with good prices for the needles. We want you to get those needles. And again, it's licensed uh, by Shein. So, uh, you know, you're buying good stuff right there. Now, let me read some of the messages that we have right here. Um, people from Costa Rica. Um, so select tattoos asking when are the grips for the uh, the sign coming out like I mentioned before we expect to have them here in January so we're gonna have the slim we're gonna have the original we're gonna have the gorilla which is the super thick one that a lot of you guys like is I see a lot of you guys wrapping the machine this big so that grip is gonna solve that problem uh, now the target price of those grips is gonna be almost similar to the RPG 2 I believe it's $38 for a box of 24 something like that I'm not setting the prices, so don't quote me on those. Uh, so Orlando Zucara is asking, is asking for the price of the Vertex. Uh, like I mentioned before, I don't remember very well, but I think there was a 20 something there uh, for the single configuration. <clears throat> so what else? Yeah, they're gonna be uh, packages of 20. Now the cartridge version will come in 0.30. We're gonna have them in 0.33 millimeters. Okay, so it's really, really, really thin. Probably down the line, we're going to introduce the super bug pins, uh, very thin, but we're going to start with, I believe, about 70 configurations just to start. Now, what is the motor that will be in the new machine? Well, car, I translate it. He said, what is the motor that will be in the new machine, a new car? Uh, the new motor that's going to be in the new permanent maker machine is also uh, a motor that has been engineered with us, with a motor company. Uh, so if you're familiar with the uh, the motor of this line, it's going to be kind of like the same motor. Uh, we're actually using new bearings. That's one of the things. Uh, my girl doesn't want me. <laughs> uh, we'll be the small diameter. Good. Yeah. So offering a total uh, sales price for fee. She I I'm sure he meant free shipping will make a lot of customers happy for needles. All right, yeah, man, I mean, we're open to discuss. And anyway, guys, in the end, Dark Lab Supply is gonna be where you're gonna find the Vertex, where you're gonna find all the machines. Now, another thing that I wanna mention, guys, uh, uh, starting in January, you're gonna be checking out on Dark Lab. So if you buy on FK Irons, you know, you buy your machines, you make your selections, you can also go directly to Dark Lab and make all the purchases there. But the checkout for all the companies that we have, like the Microview, the Dark Lab, and FK Irons is going to happen on darklab.com. Also, on darklab.com is where you're going to get the Vertex needle. So uh, that's also where you're going to be subscribing to your products that you like the most and so on. Now, what else? Okay, so some of you have seen some of the videos that I've been posting about the studio. So the marketing studio is actually... Um, it's actually big. We have the most amazing infinite uh, walls. We're going to be doing a lot of tutorials. We're going to be doing a lot of interviews at the studio. So we're preparing a lot of video material, uh, educational material for you guys, tattoo artists. We're going to be hosting a lot of, like I mentioned before, one-on-one uh, -on -one interviews with different artists from all around the world. So we have a sequence of a lot of good content, entertaining, but also educational content for the enthusiast uh, and tattoo professional tattoo artist. As always, you know, our content is caters to tattoo artists, but also we had thought for 2019 uh, providing free guidance of how to 
become a tattoo artist uh, the right way, not just to provide free uh, tips or anything like that, but a lot of people want to know, okay, so I wanted the things right, what is the best way to become a tattoo artist? And we actually want to encourage those guys to uh, take the right steps. So we're going to be crafting a lot of content for those that um, don't have any experience and they want to uh, incur uh, the steps in becoming a great tattoo artist. So there's going to be a lot of that stuff. Now, guys, one of the things that I got to show you, let me see if I have it right here. So um, some of you know that I'm a, I, I'm a photographer as well. That's my actually my second job, passion. And um, I've been posting some of the pictures that I've been doing, like this one right here. Uh, focus, focus, focus. So I've been posting a lot of things like this. Actually, let me switch to the overhead camera. So make sure to follow me on my on my um, Instagram. My There you go. Check this out. So I've been doing a lot of photography, and a lot of you guys want to tattoo my photos, and I'm super pumped about it. So... To follow me, go to Gaston S. Photo. Gaston, G-A-S-T-O-N, S. Photo on Instagram, on Facebook, and on my YouTube channel. So I've been doing a lot of uh, surrealistic pictures lately, and it's something that I want to pursue. I mean, I found that a lot of you guys have responded amazingly to those pictures, so I'm planning for 2019, kind of like shooting a lot of reference pictures for you guys to tattoo. So... So win-win for both of you guys. Love taking photographies. I'm going to be also doing a lot of photography tutorials here on YouTube. So if you want to know how to take pictures, um, if you suck at pictures like I used to suck uh, some years ago, uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of tutorials how to take great pictures, also how to edit some pictures and, uh, you know, how to get the most uh, out of your, your work, you know, because once the customer goes, bye-bye. So a lot of you are coming up here on YouTube and teaching you guys a little bit uh about photography how to you know up your gaming photography so what else i think this is it for tonight uh we've been live for about 31 minutes so guys i hope you had a merry merry christmas i wish you guys the best for 2019 probably i'm gonna do a live before that my wife is about to pop we're about to have a baby this due january 6th so it all depends when the baby wants to come out but uh, nonetheless, guys, thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for 2019, and thank you for supporting FK Irons. Take care.